Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Treating process and residue, making this logo. And this, we can see there's a band of certain thickness which is coming from top. And here it makes one round and it goes down from the back. And in the background, there's a blend of two shapes. So, to create this logo, we'll follow the following steps. First, with the help of ellipse tool, we'll create this circle. And we'll, with the help of line segment tool, we'll create this rectangular strip. Third, we'll create the lining shapes using the rectangle tool with the help of rotate tool. And finally, we'll add up the creating colors and the text so let's begin the tutorial so select the ellipse tool and make a circle of radius around 137 points and give it some stroke color like that and make the stroke points around 33 points and with the help of line segment tool from this point with the shift press just make a straight line of certain length now Select both the object that is in stroke form and go to object and expand it to convert this into stroke and fill form. So this is now fill object. Now select this rectangle and extend this to align with the circle. Now the next thing is we'll copy this circle once which we will use it further. And now select both the object with the shape builder to just make this one object and this one other object. So these two are two pieces of this design you can see now we have copied that circle so we have pasted in the front control f and here is the circle which we have pasted in the front now what we needed here is we need a certain piece of this circle only a certain piece and rest we have to subtract it so to subtract that we will make a surface now with have a rectangle we'll make a surface from here and from the center of the circle that just this one and just select this both the rectangles go to pathfinder and just combine it now select the circle this and subtract it from the circle so we are left with it only with this piece and this is the piece which we need to make that glossy effect now the next thing is to create that rectangular pieces that's the blending shape so with the rectangle tool from this here just make a rectangle of same say it's length and with the rotate tool make the anchor point here and with the all press just click and drag and make our angle and control d to duplicate it once now make a they select the line segment and draw a line segment from this point with tilted angle of certain tilted angle like that and fill it with some stroke color and let's extend this a little bit select only these pieces and with the shape builder tool just make sure these pieces are combined like that now select these and delete it this one delete it this one delete so select now select only these pieces and with the shape builder tool make sure this is one object and this one separate this one separate so we got that blending shapes here and this one and we select this for a while and arrange it to back so that we can get that piece above this one now we got that this 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 and we got all the pieces required now the next thing is to fill it up with the grading color so select this with the eye picker and shift alt and shift pressed select this color select this with the eye picker choose the color select this with the eye picker choose this color Select this with the eye picker. Green. Select this with the eye picker. Red. Now the next thing is now select each pieces and do the gradient adjustment. Select this with the gradient color. Make sure it's dark, dark in the below and light in the above. Like that. So in the same way, select this with the eye picker. With the gradient color, that's G. Just make sure it makes a certain angle like that. Select this G from top to bottom. Now from lighter to darker. So lighter to dark. Select this lighter to dark. In the same way. Select this. We'll do the adjustment from here to here. So you go. We have added the gradient colors properly. We have uh, made that blending shapes, which looks like it's going making around. It goes down from the back side. And last and finally, we'll add the text. So B L E N D. We are using that. 
blend and the font which we're using is we we'll select this with the article TWC and empty that's the blend font which we're using and in the characters we'll give the uh, distance between them around 1500 and reduce the font size to around 20 and place it properly like that you can reduce it to around 18 like that now you can place it there when with the ruler tool you can check whether they align aligned properly or not so it's like there and just make sure yeah that's fine so finally we have added the grading colors we have added uh, the text and we have finished our logo hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you want press the subscribe button thank you